Hello, and welcome to the Sixth Form Orientation broadcast from the Tim Piggott Smith Library. Ordinarily, Sixth Form Orientation would take place in school with the express aim of enabling prospective Sixth Form students to gain a better understanding of what it is like to be a Sixth Former at KES, enabling you to learn more about your chosen A-levels, meeting members of staff and finding your way around the school if the site is unfamiliar to you, as we want you to be in a position to make a fully informed decision on whether this is the right sixth form for you. We hope that the pre-A level programme and the information within your orientation pack and this broadcast will go some way towards meeting this aim. Throughout this broadcast, you'll hear from a number of members of staff all of whom are here to offer support and guidance to you during your time in the sixth form, and also to highlight some of the wide and varied opportunities available to you. Often at this point in the orientation day, I would say, don't worry if it feels like information overload at times, as there is a lot to learn about a new school. One advantage of a broadcast over a physical presentation is that you will have the opportunity to pause, rewind and rewatch aspects of this broadcast in order to be able to fully absorb all of the information you are being given. That said, should you still have questions at the end of this, then please do join the optional Q&A sessions taking place via Teams on Monday the 19th and Tuesday the 20th of July at midday or email them to the sixth form email address. At this point, I would like to hand over to the headmaster for his welcome. Welcome, or indeed welcome back to King Edward VI School. I'm conscious that some of you will, perhaps sensibly, have applications in more than one sixth form, and that our sixth form orientation is an opportunity for you to weigh up whether this is where you want to be over the next two years. This is the point where you might expect me to burst into a sales pitch. However, there will be no hard sell to try and convince you to come here in September, not least because I think it's counterproductive. I'm aware that some schools not only tell their Year 11 how good their own sixth form is, but tell them why they shouldn't go elsewhere. There'll be none of that here. All sixth forms are different, and wherever you choose to study, the sixth form must be right for you. I'm a great believer that you must be happy to be successful. I hope you are enjoying our pre-A level programme, and that it's whetting your appetite for the subjects that you're wanting to study in the sixth form. Hopefully this orientation broadcast will give you a flavour of what life will be like here and you find it useful. If I do not see you in the meantime, I hope that you receive the GCSE results you wish for. And for those of you who do decide to join us, I look forward to seeing you here in September. Thank you. Hello, my name is Thomas Walton and I am the Deputy Headmaster with responsibility for the academic life at King Edward VI School. I want to spend a few minutes talking to you about the skills we have observed in our most successful students over the years and to encourage you to keep working on developing these over the next few months before perhaps joining us in September. We are proud that the vast majority of students gain outstanding A-level grades here and go on to attend the most selective universities, both in the UK and overseas, as well as apprenticeship and employment opportunities. But exam results don't tell the whole story. Our best students develop a range of academic skills and learning habits that stand them in good stead for whatever the future might hold for them. They have the inquiring minds that mean they look beyond exam specifications and really build on what they learn in class because they want to know more. They're self-motivated, they understand that sit form is different and don't expect to be reminded by their teachers about what needs to be done. They go beyond what is expected. They develop a keen interest in their academic subjects and complement their studies with a wide range of extracurricular and enrichment opportunities. They take full advantage of their time here to develop as interesting and purposeful adults. The summer months offer you a great opportunity to get started on developing these skills. I really encourage you to get stuck into our pre-A-level programme. I challenge you to complete the work set to a good standard and aim to read and research more widely into what you learn and find interesting. If you join us in September, these courses will give you the head start you need so that you can hit the ground running and be ready to make a great start here at KES. Hello everybody. To those of you I haven't met yet, my name is Mr Penguilly. I'll be your head of year if you join the sixth form at KES. My job is to help support you to achieve your very best whilst you are with us. This includes things like guidance to ensure you are taking the correct options, 
coordinating between yourselves, your tutor, your subject teachers, and other members of the sixth form team to ensure that you're in a position to achieve your aims and be successful. I look forward to meeting those of you I do not already know and celebrating your numerous and varied successes over the next two years. I would like to take this opportunity to speak to you about the Sixth Form Study Programme, what we offer both in terms of academic and extracurricular, core and additional activities at KES. That's this document you will find in your pack. The aim of the core offer in the Sixth Form Study Programme is to ensure that you not only complete the most appropriate academic courses, but that you're also well prepared for the next stage of life whether this is further education or the world of work. Support and guidance are provided early in your A-level courses in order to ensure you've chosen the most appropriate subjects. In part, this is achieved by means of review meetings, but conversations with subject teachers and tutors inevitably make up a crucial contribution. You will be encouraged to become a more independent learner, primarily through the use of your supervised private study periods and your allocated non-timetabled afternoons. Pastoral support is provided in the first instance by your form tutor and the sixth form team in order to ensure your physical and emotional well-being. However, you will also have access to professional support from appropriate external agencies, such as the school counsellor, as required. All students have access to independent careers advice through timetabled lessons, drop-in sessions and mock interviews. Such guidance includes researching the range of post-A level options that are appropriate to your interests and abilities. You will hear more from Mrs Roberts about this later in the broadcast. In addition, a range of other core activities, as outlined in your study programme, are offered in order to ensure you develop into confident, well-rounded individuals with the capacity to work well as part of a team and with highly developed time management and social skills, together with an awareness of the wider world. Such experiences will enable you to participate in opportunities beyond the scope of your A-level subjects and provide a degree of balance to complement the demands of your academic subjects. The aim of the additional offer in the Sixth Form Study Programme is to enrich and extend your education, helping to provide you with further skills required for your chosen post-A-level options, whether this is further study at university or the world of work. A fourth A-level can be taken if you gain a minimum of 64 points in your best eight GCSEs, or to take further maths a grade eight in your maths GCSE, this enables the most able students to complete a broader range of subjects. In the case of further mathematics, this supports students wishing to pursue maths, science, engineering, or economics-based subjects at university to gain a deeper understanding of mathematics before doing so. Additionally, if you are taking sciences, psychology, economics, or geography, but are not planning to take maths, you might like to consider core maths to help support the numeracy requirements for these subjects. The EPQ, Academic Enrichment and Academic Competitions are available to help you prepare for independent study at university and encourage you to develop your research skills, gain a deeper understanding of subjects of interest to you and challenge you beyond the confines of your specific academic subjects. The extensive extracurricular activities will provide you with the opportunity to participate or compete at the highest levels in your chosen activities, whilst also enabling you to lead and act as role models for your peers or the younger students. Such experiences also serve to provide a degree of balance to complement the demands of a student's academic studies. You will hear more about some of the extracurricular activities on offer later in this broadcast. It is our expectation that you aim to undertake at least 50 hours of volunteering or work experience over the course of Year 12 as part of our core offer. Of course, in these exceptional times, it's likely to be the case nationally that many of the usual volunteering and work experience opportunities available to sixth form age students are going to be restricted, certainly in the first part of the academic year. Remote volunteering opportunities will certainly be offered by a number of organisations and these might prove to be of significant interest to you. 
The aim of all of these activities in both our core and additional offer, academic and extracurricular spheres, is to help ensure you are well prepared for life beyond school, developing skills that will enable you to operate as confident, independent and resourceful individuals. Thank you very much and I look forward to seeing many of you soon. I'm now going to hand over to two members of staff with the responsibility for offering you specific support during your time in the sixth form. Hello, my name is Fiona Roberts. I'm the Careers Coordinator at KES. I recognise if you join the sixth form of this school, you will have come from many different schools and all have individual plans for the next two years and beyond. My role is to provide you with support and guidance as you start to research the many careers options available to you in the future. To achieve this, you will have timetable careers lessons on a fortnightly basis. During these lessons, we will explore the variety of options available to you, from degree apprenticeships, universities in the UK and overseas, conservatoires, drama schools or possibly gap years. I also provide support to students on a one-to-one -one basis. This can be preparing CVs for work experience roles, interview preparation for an assessment centre or to talk through your specific options after KES. Alongside lessons and one-to-one -one meetings, careers talks are held during lunch times. Recent talks have included speakers from JLR, British Airways, the NHS, the Army, the London School of Economics and PwC. In January of Year 12, students and their parents are invited to attend a post-18 options evening, which provides further information regarding their choices after the sixth form. At this event, internal and external speakers present on how to make a competitive application to university and discuss degree apprenticeship programmes. If you are thinking about applying to Oxbridge, this evening will also include a presentation by the Oxbridge coordinator, Miss Barton who will outline the Oxbridge support programme. Specific support is provided for a wide range of post-18 options choices, including accountancy, economics and engineering. Students who wish to study for careers in medicine, veterinary science and dentistry also receive guidance on the application and testing process. At the end of Year 12, you will have utilised many resources to research and plan your further options. This will include Unifrog, which will enable you to compare and explore different opportunities. These career activities mean you are fully prepared to make a competitive application in Year 13, through UCAS for UK universities or for one of the many post-18 options that are available. I would encourage you during the summer to complete the pre-A-level work that has been assigned and to research volunteering opportunities. This will ensure you are fully prepared to start Year 12 and ready to take advantage of the many opportunities that are available to you in the sixth form. Hello, I'm Mrs Freer, the Special Needs Coordinator here at King Edward VI School. Welcome to my workplace. It's a very happy place to work and to study. It's a very inclusive and caring school and will provide you with the atmosphere, resources and ethos you need to study and develop your potential. We take our duties towards assisting those with SEN very seriously and you can rest assured that if you have a learning difficulty or medical condition, staff will be aware, they will adapt their teaching to help you and they will be discreet. So how can I help? I'm going to be your go-to person if you have a learning difficulty. Don't worry if you do, studying is very demanding, even for the most highly intelligent and getting through the A-level course is tough. But we have great teachers who will all work alongside me and the pastoral team to help you settle in and do well. I can help you with essay planning, meeting deadlines, exam anxiety, and mediating a conversation between you and your new teachers so that their teaching style matches your learning style. We want you to be the very best you can be, and we're here to help you achieve your best. So that's how I can help you. How can you help me? Well, as soon as you are officially offered your place, you need to make sure you contact me by email if you have an SEN. My address is sf at kes.net, and you can also find it on the website under contacts, Mrs Freer. 
I would like to meet with you when school starts. Ahead of our meeting, please ensure I have any paperwork entitling you to extra time or any profiles from your previous school to help me develop an individual program of support for you. You can scan them and send them by email or leave them with student services for my attention. This applies to you if you have previously had extra time, special arrangements for exams, or extra support or adaptations of any kind. I'm really looking forward to working with some of you in September and wish you good luck with your GCSE results. Thank you. Hello, my name is Debbie Madden and I'm Director of Music at KES. Do you want to make music with some of the very best sixth form musicians in the Midlands? Many students join KES because they want to perform music at the very highest level and create some incredible musical memories. There are weekly rehearsals for a variety of large ensembles such as orchestra, chapel choir and curb, King Eddie's revival big band, as well as small ensembles, for example, King's Brass, Saxophone Quartet and Senior Strings, who are coached by members of staff. The music department is in the heart of the school site and there are always self-led groups rehearsing. From rock bands to string quartets, you are very likely to find like-minded people to make music with. In a usual year, we have a busy schedule of over 50 performing opportunities, highlights of which include termly senior concerts, the annual house music competition, jazz night, and the festival of nine lessons and carols at Christmas. You can find out more on our YouTube channel, there are numerous opportunities to help lead or support music making in the music department. You could run sectional rehearsals for school choir, set up a chamber group or band, or perhaps lead sessions for the composition club. We have 16 visiting music teachers who come into school each week. So if you are interested in having individual lessons, we will be able to organise this for you. The music department is a vibrant community. We hold regular masterclasses and workshops with professional musicians, as well as organising concert trips. Earlier this month, a group of six formers went on a three-day music tour to Suffolk, and we will plan another tour during your year 13. There is certainly lots to look forward to. You can find out more on the extracurricular section of the Music Pre-A-Level course on Moodle. To keep up to date with what is going on in music at KES, do follow us on Twitter at KES Music Net. Hi, my name is Louisa Nightingale and I'm Head of Drama and Performance at King Edward VI School. At Shakespeare's School, we pride ourselves on the standard of drama work we produce with the diverse range of students we have joining our sixth form. From the moment you arrive, you'll be met with a buzz of excitement surrounding the first extracurricular drama opportunity you can get involved with the main school production, which takes place in November at the end of the Michaelmas term. A huge amount of creative endeavour is involved in putting on this large scale production. From performer to director, designer to musician, the whole production team is made up of KES students, with our sixth formers leading the way. This year, we will be doing a production of Romeo and Juliet, and auditions will take place as soon as you start the school in September. At KES, we also have our very own theatre company, Edwards Boys, led by Deputy Head Perry Mills. As well as performing at school, the company tours both nationally and internationally to great critical acclaim. They've also had the privilege of performing at some of the most extraordinary venues, such as Middle Temple Hall, St Paul's Cathedral, the RSC Swan and the Sam Wanamaker Playhouse. Further opportunities to develop your creative talents come in the form of activities such as our annual house drama competition. Students are given four weeks to produce a performance based on a given theme or idea and students across all year groups work together to see if they can claim the prize. There is also the annual drama showcase evening which takes place in the summer term. This is an evening where students have the chance to show off their many talents often including musical theatre and drama performances from many of our sixth form students. The Edinburgh Fringe Festival is the single biggest celebration of arts and culture on the planet. For three weeks in August, the city of Edinburgh welcomes an explosion of creative energy from around the globe. And if you join KES in the sixth form, you will have the opportunity to join a group of students who will embark on taking a student production to the Fringe in summer 2022.
This is a once in a lifetime opportunity open to all who join us and I'm very excited to invite you to come along. I also oversee the KES technical team within the school who are always looking for sixth formers to join. The team is integral to the running of events such as assemblies, open evenings, concerts and plays and is made up of students of all ages. As a member of the KES technical team, you have the opportunity to learn about all technical theatre aspects, such as design and operation of sound, lighting and projection, and apply your knowledge to enhance our events. You would also have the privilege of working alongside professional technicians from the Royal Shakespeare Company. Bronze and Gold Lambda courses in public speaking are also very popular with our sixth form students. Therefore, if you join us in September, you will have the opportunity to develop essential public speaking skills by studying these awards, considered the gold standard throughout the world. Finally, I would like to invite you to consider how you can get involved in any or all of these activities if you join KES in September. And please contact me if you have any further questions. We don't expect you to come with a long CV or drama experience to be able to get involved, just enthusiasm and a willingness to work with others, which is at the heart of everything we do. I really look forward to meeting you all in September. Hello, my name is Mr Wilson and I'm the Director of Sport at King Edward VI School. I'm responsible for the extensive PE, games and extracurricular sport programmes within the school. Sport at KES is valued a great deal and the involvement in extracurricular activities is integral to the ethos of the school. We strive to provide a wide and varied selection of physical activities in order to promote and encourage the leading of healthy, active lifestyles. For this reason, it is compulsory for all Year 12 students to participate in a school-led physical activity on a Wednesday afternoon during your games period. Not only does this create good habits of regular exercise, but it also helps you to socialise with peers with similar interests to you and act as an excellent stress reliever throughout the year. We use the many sports facilities at KES, including the Levi Fox Hall, gymnasium and fitness suite on site, as well as using a large number of sports facilities off site, such as our impressive Manor Road Sports Grounds, Stratford Rowing Club and Stratford Leisure Centre. In September, you will opt into one of several options that you will participate in until Easter, when you will select a new activity for the summer term. Your options in September comprise rugby, hockey, netball, rowing, fencing, basketball, badminton, six-a-side football, yoga, aerobics, zumba and gym in the fitness suite. There may also be opportunities to visit the leisure centre gym or swimming pool if you have a membership. In March, you will be asked to reselect your sport for the summer term, which will include new sports such as cricket, athletics, tennis and rounders. You will be required to register at your selected activity each Wednesday. Due to the hiring of extra facilities, some of these games activities incur an additional charge and this charge will be payable via parent pay. These details will be confirmed in September. With regards to kit, KES branded kit should be worn wherever possible and girls should wear appropriate sports kit for their chosen activity. Our performance sports, the sports we focus on most with regards to fixtures and competitions, are rugby, hockey, netball, rowing, fencing, cricket and athletics. We are very proud of our achievements within these sports as we compete with the best state and independent schools in the region and have many athletes representing county, regional and national teams in a number of sports. Our netball programme is particularly successful, regularly fielding three teams having over 40 girls signed up and competing well with the best schools in the region and beyond. We are now regarded as one of the strongest netball schools in the area. If you wish to represent KES in any of our performance sports, then we expect full commitment and effort through attending regular training sessions, fixtures on Wednesdays and often Saturdays, and always contributing positively to your team. If for any reason you cannot attend a training session or match, then out of courtesy you should inform your coach at the earliest possible opportunity. We also expect the highest standards of kit and pride in your appearance. For our performance sports, we also offer an extensive touring programme for all ages, but specifically at sixth form, these include tours for hockey, rugby and netball. 
Previous tours have visited the likes of Barcelona, Malta, Argentina, the Netherlands and Canada. And, guidelines permitting, further tours will take place over the next two years, including a proposed senior rugby tour to Japan next summer. On site, we have our own gym facility known as The Cave, which is an excellent fitness resource available to all senior students at KES. It costs just £30 per year, which is used to maintain and improve the equipment, and you will receive an induction before you can start using it. It is your facility, so it is your responsibility to look after it, keep it clean, and leave it as you found it. You are allowed to use it responsibly in your own time, but it's not to be used when no members of staff are in the near vicinity. Out of term time, for example. I very much hope to see you in September and look forward to welcoming you into our extensive sports programme. And trust that, for many of you, it will form a major part of your life at KES. So, now you've heard much about life in the sixth form at KES and we bring this broadcast to a close. We hope this has answered many of the questions you may have had. Please do take the time to read through the orientation pack and familiarise yourself with the information within this. You will find more details on the sixth form study programme, the extracurricular and enrichment activities on offer and the pastoral support available along with some of the more practical aspects of life at KES, such as the timings for the school day and the uniform policy. As I said at the start, please don't hesitate to get in contact in order to get any further answers you may need, either via email to sixthform at kes.net or by joining the optional drop-in sessions on Teams from midday on both the 19th and 20th of July. And I look forward to being able to welcome you in person to the sixth form in September.